I am feeling rough. Hi guys, it's Connie. I was going to do a couple of things while I explain why I will be putting off another chapter of this because I'm not going to have the time and brain power to do it right now. It is currently Tuesday night, September 1st, 2020. And I do my best to post videos, at least for Connie Reads, every Tuesday and every Thursday. And I am going to do a book tonight, but it's going to be a very small, very simple book. And was potentially going to open this, but I think I'll save this for another day. Uh, while I was away today, uh, I received one of uh, my purchases in the mail. And apparently Mustachio and Baby Bear Tryon decided to at least open the box, but they didn't complete the unwrapping and unopening of said packaging, which I am super excited about. It came from Casey Newman Ceramics, and she is awesome, and I can't wait to show you this at a later date and time. So for now, uh basically a handful of members of my family and myself drove four hours up to Pennsylvania to celebrate uh, a family member that passed away recently and spend some time with some family that we hadn't seen for a while because we only see each other during family reunions and it's been a few years and a lot of the matriarchs and patriarchs are passing away and just haven't gotten around to getting back together again and falling out of touch with people. So it was really nice, but it was also really sad and it was also exhausting. Um, but I want to try to be consistent. So I wanted to share this book. This is from a company. Uh, this is from a company that I wanna make sure I do it right. I think it's called Puppy Dogs and Ice Cream. Yes, Puppy Dogs and Ice Cream Inc. Um, you can look at all of their stuff on puppydogsandicecream.com. I saw this and thought about everything that we're going on with the pandemic and so many other things that are going on in our world. And this was just a beautiful, calming, taking a deep breath moment that you can share at any age. So. Right now, with Connie Reads, right now, I am fine. And I hope that you pick up a copy of this and share it with various members of your family, young and old, because it's fantastic. Sometimes bad things happen in the world. And they make us feel scared. Sometimes these things make us worry about what is going to happen next. Our family, friends, and neighbors may all be affected. All of this worry can make us feel terrible. Our tummies may seem like they're tied up in knots. It may feel hard to breathe like an elephant is sitting on our chest. And they make it really, really cute. A little purple elephant, it's adorable. Our heads may be so full of worried thoughts that we can't concentrate on anything else. And by the way, Mustachio has been a total bamf and is currently downstairs in the basement with Baby Bear, keeping her company like he's been doing all day he's been doing full-on dad mode today but she sounds like she's burning off a lot of energy because she was excited to see me and she hasn't been a big fan of going to sleep recently so totally loving it if you happen to hear her totally being excited and burning all that energy in the background that's what that noise is but when this happens it is important to remind ourselves that we are fine right now help yourself calm down, start by closing your eyes. Then take three deep breaths. Breathe in slowly and breathe out 
slowly. And it actually has a picture of directions telling you in, out. Now keep your eyes closed, gently wrap your arms around your body, and give yourself a big warm hug. You can handle this right now, or you can handle this because right now you are here and you are not in any danger. Let your body relax a little. Drop your shoulders and wiggle your toes. You don't have to be on high alert at this moment. It's like a moving meditation for your kids and for you. It's, I love it. Let worrying thoughts drift out of your mind. I love the imagery that they use here. It's a fantastic book. Please go get yourself a copy. The bad things may still be happening, but you don't have to worry about them this minute because right now you are fine. I'm always curious to know why they imagine being at the beach. It's not usually my go-to relaxation place, but it is, I guess, a relaxing place. I'm always very curious. What else can you do to relax? Can you draw a pretty picture? Can you look out the window at the beautiful world outside? Can you read a funny, exciting, or adventurous book? That's so good. Can you play a fun game or solve a tricky puzzle? Can you cuddle a furry pet or a favorite stuffed animal? Yeah. So good. Then remind yourself, right now, I am fine. Oh, I absolutely love this book. Written by Dr. Daniela Owen, illustrated by, oh, I'm totally gonna butcher it. It says, I'm and once again, this is by Puppy Dogs and Ice Cream, and they're at www.puppydogsandicecream.com. Uh, Let's see how they spell it out. They do spell out all the words, puppydogsandicecream.com. Just fantastic. I love it. And uh, there are times where it just helps you relax and not overthink things and actually helps you at least clear enough of your mind so that you can actually process the things that are going on. <sighs> so that's what I've got for you today. Exhausted, tired, and still processing some things that have been going on in the last few weeks. It's important to also remind myself, right now, I am fine. And there are parts of me that may not be fine, but they will be eventually. So be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. And I will see you on Thursday with regularly scheduled Connie Reads. Have a great night.